Okay, so, hello, River Yara here. I'm going to be demonstrating the breakdown of Toad Charmer. I just recorded this and it was a 20 minute video, so I'm, hope, I'm hopefully going to make this one a bit faster. Okay, so basically here's the file in Ableton. I write everything in Ableton. Um, I've been using it for a while. It's easy, it's, it's good, I like it. I'm just going to move this up here for um, demonstration purposes, that should be there. And what else? That can stay there, you can stay there, you can stay there. Great. Okay, cool. Here's the file. Uh, you can see that it's nice and colourful. I try and use, I try and um, assign different colours to different instruments to make the track look really nice as well as sound really nice. So you can see, um, yeah, some of these I didn't, I didn't um, manually select the colour of, but I like this vibe. This is this is the Toad Charmer vibe here. Purple, yellow, mar what is that? Mustard and then a lime green. Yeah, very foggy. So okay, let's start at the beginning. We have here the intro, which is basically just a drum beat. Um, you notice the tempo is quite slow. Um, that's because it's better if it's slow. Here's the kick, and I'll solo that. It's pretty straightforward four to the floor kick, quite deep and nice. That is coupled with this shaky drum and some claps and some hi hats, and that's the rhythm track going. Now I draw, I uh, combine my drums here, and they're more for the opening melody of the song. They're not strictly a uh, melody, but the drums create the sort of melody you can use your imagination. The bass line is thumping along under that. Quick fact, the reason why this EP is called Frogmania is because all these bassy synths sound like big frogs croaking. So that's where it came from. Okay. That's the song playing. Intro, good. Intro goes for enough time for someone to mix it in because, you know, writing dance music, you have to be courteous to the DJ who's going to play it. This is a nice um, uh, motif that I put in, I think, all the songs on Frogmania. It's a wooden frog croak. Love it. Great. This is a nice little... Um, this symbol and this is like a bleepy wash thing and these are used to move between sections of the song. Beautiful. Okay. Then the intro comes in, uh, not the intro, sorry, the verse, which resident advisor don't like. It's a nice little, um, Snake Charmer motif. It's pretty funny, but it's also uh, quite um, a musical thing because it's written in the harmonic minor, and that's not. I'm recording. <laughs> slippers. My housemate's just come into the room and he's delivered me slippers. They're pink, fleece, and they're very nice. I'll put them on after this video. I'll upload a photo of them at the very end, actually. Okay, so where was I? Yep, so that here's the um, despised melody from the um, from the um, from the Toad Charmer song. What else have we got? What's this? Oh, this is a nice boing sound. Uh, tweet. This is also. Okay, so this audio, maybe not this one. This, yeah, this, 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 not the claps. Most of the drums were recorded with a Korg Wave drum, which is one of my favorite instruments to use. It's kind of like a drum synth. It's a drum, single drum head, you hit it and you can change the preset and it's got a little algorithm in it which um, responds to how hard you hit the drum, where you hit it, that sort of thing. It sounds, all right for some sounds and quite shit for other sounds, but I like that. I really like trying to take terrible, terrible um, sounds 
and make them musical and sound sophisticated. It's a really nice challenge. And that's quite like obvious with this. Which is not a very good sound at all. But when you combine it with other things, synergy. Okay, so that's like that bit. And I guess there's a little break down here until the amphibian um, 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 vocal um, comes in which I was just recorded into my um, um, phone's uh, audio memos thing which is what I'm doing right now um, there's this trancey synth which comes in quite referential but it works with the song um, yeah okay I put effects on most of my stuff um, um, they're all Ableton effects I don't really use anything else mostly the things I just use are EQ compressor and um just things to change the frequencies and blah 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 of the song. I send things to returns. Usually use this space echo thing, which is really nice, and then fuck around with the um, levels here. This is actually made up of um, just a delay, which you can change this. Blah blah blah. Plugins. I use one which Yusu recommended to me called Chromophone Two, which is amazing. It's acoustic modeling synth. So instead of having sine wave, saw wave. Um, Square wave, blah, 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 blah. It has resonators, so you can choose between string, beam, marimba, drum head, all this stuff. And there's two oscillators, and you can balance them. You can get really interesting sounds out of it, which is very fun. Um, what else? So, yeah, the kick pattern changed uh, when the, when the um, despised melody enters, and that's just to, like, break the song up a bit. Kick drops out completely here. Woo, cool, yep, build up. Kick comes back in, hands in the air keep going and then we're basically at the end of the song so it's just all these different elements which are interchanged to give um yeah i guess different shape and different color to the song basically like try to combine different things at any given time so here you've got the melody with this boing and then you have the melody with the trancey bit in the bass and then the boing comes in this is just the trancey bit in the bass the drums, yeah, basically just like a collage, really, um, of all these different elements, and, okay, toe charmer. <laughs>